a Bamberg brewery that prides itself on tradition and craftsmanship. Clock and from the Marsbrau Brewery in Bamberg, Germany, we have a bottle of their ETA Dunkel's Lager coming in at 5% ABV. Now, I got this from House of Trembling Madness. If anyone wants to know where I got it from, I'm they have a great selection of beers there. And let's talk about this this Marsbrau, um, another brewery in Bamberg, which is an absolutely fantastic city to go to if you're ever in Germany. I've been there myself, it's brilliant. It is, you know, famous for the smoked beer, the Exschlenkerler smoked beer brewery. Um, there's loads and loads of breweries in Bamberg. It's got a real high density of um, breweries in, in Bamberg. And also, a lot of malt comes from Bamberg, the Bamberg malt that they use in, all over the world with beers. So, <laughs> The Marsbrow Brewery sort of started in 1602, okay, and then it's sort of, um, it changed sort of hands, and then became, the, the Michael family um, in 1895 took over, and it's still going strong with the Michael family, um, I do believe, just look at my notes here, I do believe um, you had um, Ingmar uh, Michael, um, and now you have we got Stephen Michael is the new CEO of the brewery. So it's it's, it's again it's, it's it's I like these breweries like this that just keep passing them down from generation to generation. You know it's absolutely fantastic when they do that. So without further ado, let's let's get this beer in the glass. And let's give it a review. I do like the, the actual caps, the embossed caps on these Mars Brow bottles of beer. I think it's something a little bit different. So a Dunkel's Lager is basically what like a dark lager. It's sort of known as. Dunkel's is dark. How's that for a poor look at that? That's how you do it properly. Right, first impressions, it's deep mahogany. It's got a lovely three finger off white type foam head. Let's get the aromas. <sighs> malt bread, malt bread, it's definitely There is a coffee twang there, a little bit of coffee. I'm really getting malt bread, but I actually do actually smell sort of fresh, fresh butter there, believe it or not. Now, believe it or not, they actually call this a Marzan beer, a March beer as well. So let's, without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try, but it smells really, really nice. So cheers. Bodied. It's quite punchy as well. Um, uh, there's some hop bitterness there. You're getting a real velvety smooth malt finish to the beer. It's really good. I really like this. It's quite carbonated as well, believe it or not. It is quite a gassy beer. 
come. Though we can see that, you know, there is plenty. This is a non-nucleated glass, and there's plenty of um, gas, plenty of bubbles in there, and you can actually feel it when you when you take a taste of it in the mouth. It's very quite a gassy beer. Now, they do use the, the Heller Tower um, Pearl and Select Hops in this. There's quite a bit of hop bitterness. And it repeats on you, the hot bitterness. So if we're going to take a sip. You initially get some bitterness there. And then it becomes this velvety, smooth, sweet back end. And then you keep getting this hot bitterness jump back at you and it's like it's jumping back at you to say Oi, don't put the beer down keep on sipping <laughs> that's what it feels like to me because this this hot bitterness in your mouth makes you want to take another sip to have this pleasantly smooth velvety end so it's it's playing tricks with your mind, you know. It's, it's making your mind um, think, "I want more sips because I don't like this hot bitterness. I want that smooth, silky smooth sweetness." <laughs> um, yeah, what a, what what a way to get people to drink lots of this beer. <laughs> make, make, a, make an aftertaste after the best bit. Um, make you want to t take more, <laughs> take more down you. I've sort of had a third of this now and believe it or not I am getting a bit of coffee in there now my taste buds are sort of accustomed to it um, it's an intriguing beer to say the least um, it's up there with some of the best dunkles I've ever had you know, this is a this is a blinding dunkel, an intriguing dunkel, a dunkel that I will definitely have again. Um, I probably think three or four glasses of it would be would be enough. It's not a beer you could you could session on all night long, but three or four glasses of this, I think that's the limit. It's it's very very gassy. And we all know it's the it's the carbonation that makes you throw up the beer. Um, it's not the volume; it's the carbonation that's uh, erupting in your stomach. Um, you know, if I if I had to score this, it's a four out of five all day long. You know, I, I'm being honest there. It's a great dunkle, great example of a dunkle. A nice ABV as well, five percent. Um, I just like the way it messes with your mind, how it makes you want to go back to take another sip. You know, you've you've seriously got to try this beer. If you try this beer, you you'll see exactly what I'm on about. Um, about how you get this beautiful, sweet, velvety finish, and then this hop bitterness bites back, bites back, saying, "Take another sip, take another sip." <laughs> I want the velvety, smooth sweetness again. So look, get yourself a bottle of this try it see what you think leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night wow. tt says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly. <laughs>